Hello everyone, welcome to Infinity Physics. In this lecture, we will solve a question from chapter 1, class 12. So, the question given is, two charges equal in magnitude and opposite in polarity are placed at a certain distance apart and effective force between them is F. So, what is given here? Two charges equal in magnitude means both have same magnitude but their polarity are different. So, the effective force is given F. So, by using the Coulomb's law, we can calculate the effective force. So, F is equals to K into Q1 Q2 by R square, but here both have same magnitude. So, Q into Q, we will get Q square and one is plus and another is minus. So, the net force we will get F is equals to minus KQ square by R square. If 75 percent of one is transferred to another, it means from one we have to transfer the charge to another, but how much 75 percent either from plus charge to minus or minus to plus, then the effective force between them we have to find. So, let us assume that we are transferring the 75 percent charge from positive charge to negative that is we are transferring the positive charge. So, from a positive charge if we transfer some amount of charge to another charge then its amount will reduce. So, we will get a new charge. So, here new positive charge plus Q dash. So, original is Q. From that we are transferring how much? 75 percent. 75 percent means 3 by 4 of the original charge. So, Q minus 3 by 4 of Q. So, what we will get? So, if we simplify it, we will get 4 q minus 3 q by 4. So, it is plus q by 4. So, our new positive charge will be plus q by 4. Now, when we transfer this positive charge to negative charge, then also the magnitude of the negative charge also changes. So, here we have negative charge, but it is new negative charge. Original negative charge is minus q. So, here minus q we are adding some amount of that is 75 percent of the positive charge in it. So, minus q plus 3 by 4 from here we are subtracting. So, here we are adding it. So, by simplifying it what we will get minus 4 q plus 3 q by 4. So, we will get minus q by 4 it is the new negative charge and this is our new positive charge. And now we have to find the effective force between these two charges. So, again we apply the Coulomb's law, then F is equals to K. So, our new charge is 1 plus Q by 4 and another is minus Q by 4. So, K into Q by 4 into Q by 4 that is K Q1 Q2 by R square. So, this is our Q1, this is Q2. So, K Q by 4 into minus Q by 4 by R square. So, minus sign if we take outside here. So, Q into Q, Q square 4 into 4 that is 16. So, we will get minus K Q square by 16 R square, but minus K Q square by R square it, it is our original force. So, we substitute here. So, it is F by 16. So, the original force will reduce by 16 times that is the new force we will get it is the 1 by 16th of the original force.